Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Quiz 3. This quiz has questions about Azure Cosmos database. All my quizzes about Azure, those questions will help to prepare for Azure interviews. And also this quiz help to prepare for Azure certifications. Let's start the quiz. Question one, true or false? The number of RUs used for a given database operation over the same data varies over time. True or false? Before we choose the answer, let's talk about RU. What is the RU? Or request unit. Azure Cosmos database measures throughput using something called a request unit. Request unit usage is measured per second. So the unit of measure is request units per second. You must reserve the number of RUs you want Azure Cosmos database to provision in advance. So it can handle the load you have estimated and you can scale your RUs up or down at any time to meet current demand. Here is the right answer, false. Azure Cosmos database ensures that the number of RUs for a given database operation over a given data set is deterministic. Question two, which of the following options affects the number of request unit it takes to write a document? Option A, size of the document. Option B, item property count. Option C, indexing policy. Option D, all of the above. What is item size? As the size of an item increases, the number of RUs consumed to read or write the item also increases. What is item property count? Assuming the default indexing is on all properties, the number of RUs consumed to write an item increases as the item property count increases. Item indexing. What is item indexing? By default, each item is automatically indexed. Fewer RUs are consumed if you choose not to index some of your items in a container. Option D is the right answer here. Question three. Which of the following statements is false about request units in Azure Cosmos database? Shani, the cost to read a one kilobyte item is approximately one request unit. Option B, requests are rate limited if you exceed the number of provision or you. Option C, once you set the number of request units, it's impossible to modify this number. Option D, if you provision or use on an Azure Cosmos container, Azure Cosmos database ensures that RUs are available in each region associated with your account. As we discussed earlier, we can always scale up or down RUs based on current demand. So here is the right answer, option C. You can increase or decrease the number of request unit frozen to a container or a database. Option C is the right answer. Question four. True or false? You can add a partition key to an Azure Cosmos database container after it has been created. True or false? False. Before we pick an answer, let's, let's talk about partition key. What is a partition key? 
A partition key is the value by which Azure organizes your data into logical divisions. It should aim to evenly distribute operations across the database to avoid hot partitions. So here is the right answer, false. Once you once you create a container, you have you cannot modify partition key. You have to set the partition key when you are creating container. In my previous sessions, there is one video session available about Azure Cosmos database, where I created Azure database uh, and containers in Azure Cosmos database. So you can see how we can set up our use, how we can modify our use, how we can define partition key. You can check that session. It's a good session about Azure Cosmos database. Question five. Your organization is planning to use Azure Cosmos database to store vehicle telemetry data generated from millions of vehicles every second. Which of the following options for your partition key will optimize storage distribution? We just discussed about partition key. Option A, vehicle model. Option B, current month. Here is the right answer, option B. Why? Auto manufacturers have transactions occurring throughout the year. This option will create a more balanced distribution of storage across partition key values. Using date range, using date range as a partition key will create a more balanced distribution of storage across partition key values. Question six, true or false. The benefits of writing to multiple regions are decreased latency, unlimited scaling potential, and improved availability. True or false? True. As we know, Azure has 58 regions all over the world, and Azure is available in 140 countries. Writing to multiple regions has many performance benefits. Example that latency for write operations is less than in non multi master account. This is the right answer? True. But before we move to the next question, what is multi master account? Um, what is multi master support? Multi master support is an option that can be enabled on new Azure Cosmos database accounts. Once the account is replicated in multiple regions, each region is a master region that equally participates in a write anywhere model, also known as an active active pattern. Question seven, what is the default conflict resolution policy in a multi master account? A last writer wins, B a custom user defined procedure. What is conflict resolution? Conflicts are rare in Azure Cosmos database and can only occur when an item is simultaneously changed in multiple regions before propagation between the region has happened. What is last writer wins? Last writer wins in which conflicts are resolved based on the value of a user defined integer property in the document. By default, writer wins used to determine the last written document. So here is the right answer. Last writer wins, option A. Question eight, which consistency level is most appropriate for the user data in an e-commerce database? Users need to ensure that their orders contain all the items they placed in their basket. Option A, strong. Option B, bounded staleness. Option C, session. Option D, consistent prefix. 
option A, eventual. What is consistency level? Azure Cosmos database allows developers to choose between five well-defined consistency models along the consistency spectrum. So here is the right answer. Option C is the right answer. Session consistency. What are the benefits using this session consistency? Session consistency is ideal for all scenarios where a device or a user session is involved since it guarantees monotonic reads, monotonic writes, and read your own writes guarantees. Session consistency provides predictable consistency for a session and maximum read throughput while offering the lowest latency writes and reads. Here is the right answer, option C. Question nine, which consistency level consumes the least amount of request units per operation? Option A, strong. Option B, bounded staleness. Option C, session. Option D, consistent prefix. Option E, eventual. Option E is the right answer because the cost of a read operation with eventual consistency consumes the least number of request units per second. Option E is the right answer. Question 10. What is the only required clause in a SQL query? Option A, select. Option B, from. Option C, where? Select is the only required clause in a query. You can check in my videos. There is one good video session available about Azure Cosmos database where I created databases and containers and I inserted data and we did some queries. So you can check that session. It gives more idea on Azure Cosmos database and the SQL we use in Azure Cosmos database. Question 11. Which query will get an order list of product IDs and descriptions starting with largest product ID and ending with the smallest product ID? Let's check option A. Select product ID from product ordered by product ID ascending order. So we can uh, ignore option A here because in the question it says starting with the largest product ID and ending with smallest product ID. So we can ignore option A since it is ascending order. Let's check option B. Select ID from products ordered by product ID in descending order. We can ignore option B because it, it says only select ID but what we need product ID and description. Which query will get an order list of product IDs and description. So we can ignore option B since we have, uh, we have only one option left, option C. We ignore option A and option B. Let's check option C. Select product ID description. That is what we need in this, in this, requirement so option c is the right answer select product id description from products ordered by product id descending order so option c is the right answer we completed quiz 3 azure cosmos database quiz if you have any questions you can check my azure cosmos database video if you want to create some containers, that, that video session, that video will help you to understand more on Azure Cosmos database. Thank you.